In today's video, I'm going to show you the easiest way for a crocheter to learn how to knit. Actually, I think this is the easiest way to learn how to knit hands down. So if you've ever wanted to try it, then definitely try out the Norwegian style of knitting. So in today's video, we're going to be using a category four weight. This is a worsted weight yarn available at xshaknits.com and it's all hand dyed and then we have the recommended needle size which is a five millimeter these are circular needles uh, this brand is lantern moon i love these circular needles but they are really pricey but they are also incredibly awesome and it makes the knitting experience so much nice so much nicer Okay, so in order to estimate how much we need for our long tail, we're going to do like a, a four inch swatch, let's say. So we need to times that by three. So here we, we're just giving an estimate because it's just a swatch. So here we have what we're going to knit, right? So you're going to times that by three. So two and then three. And that's how long we're gonna need for our little swatch that we're making. So we're gonna start with a slip knot, and this is how I do my slip knots, but there's a million different ways to do them. So I take and I twist it around my needle, I pinch it, yarn over, and pinch, and then pull through that little hole that we've made. And you're just gonna snug it down, not too tight. You don't want your cast on stitches to be too tight because it makes it impossible to knit them. Okay, so to begin, we're gonna have our long tail to one side and the yarn attached to the ball still over in the other direction. And we're gonna make like a slingshot with our finger, just like that. And you're going to take your needle and go up along your thumb and then wrap around the yarn from your pointy finger and bring it through the hole that you made on your thumb. And just snug it up, but not too tight. You wanna keep it looser. So again, we're going to take our needle, wrap it, um, slide it in between our thumb and through that hole, just like that. You can see that? And then wrap around that yarn from our pointy finger and bring it through the hole that we created on our thumb. Just like that. And again, and we're gonna repeat this process until we've cast it on the recommended amount of stitches. But in this case, it's just a demo, so it doesn't really matter. Again, slip, or a slingshot rather. And then you're gonna wrap it around your thumb just a little bit. Needle goes through that loop on your thumb that you've created. Wrap around from your pointy finger and bring it through the loop that you created on your thumb. Okay? And again, I'm trying to go slow for you. So it looks like that, right? And then wrap it around and bring it through, just like that. So I'm gonna we'll make some quicker stitches here for us. And by all means, you can slow down the video. YouTube has a really cool feature now where you can actually like slow-mo the video if you need to, If I, even if I was, going too fast as I was like um, showing you there, you can totally slow it down or rewatch it. Like there's some stitches that I've had to rewatch like a million times in order to get. No shame in doing that. I think the long tail cast on took me the longest to learn when I first started knitting. So no shame there. We're gonna keep on casting on until we have about six inches of our tail left. You wanna make sure that you have enough tail that you can uh, weave in your ends when you're done your knitting. So I'll just do one more stitch there. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is put that into our left hand, take the needle from our right hand, and we're gonna start knitting. And this is the Norwegian style of knitting, and I love this style because I can work with, I'm, I'm a closed hand knitter. So with regular continental, you usually have the yarn way out here. And I find that that hurts my hands and cramps my hands after a while. So in this style of knitting, I like because I can keep everything nice and tight. Um, and I like that because that's the way I crochet as well. So you're going to insert, let's see if I can bring it up here. You know what? I'm going to make it. There we go. 
Okay, so you're going to insert your needle from the front to the back, just like that. And the way that I hold my yarn is just like this. So I'm actually just picking the yarn off of my finger. I'm gonna tighten this up a little bit. I'm gonna pick that yarn off of my finger and bring it through. Oops, I just slipped my yarn there. Bring it through the hole and off of your needle. So the first stitch is always the most difficult. I don't know I'm fumbling because I'm gonna tighten this up a little bit for us. All right, okay. So again, you're inserting your needle just like that, okay? And you're going to pick the yarn off of your pointy finger and bring it through the stitch. I love this style of knitting because in continental, like you would have it way out here and it just feels really alien to me. And um, honestly, I w originally was a Russian style knitter, which all the work is in the back. <laughs> so I retaught myself how to knit the Norwegian style and I find it the easiest. So again, you're gonna insert and pick it off of your finger, just like that. And you can get clipping at a really good speed by doing this. Um, the cast on stitches are usually the hardest to knit because they are a little bit tighter. So yeah, so you're just picking it off of your finger like that. And I love it because it does not, I can knit for a really, oops, I'm splitting the yarn again. I'm doing a video of course. So, um, I find that this says I can knit for a really long time and it not hurt my finger. So the way that you want to hold it is kind of like that, right? With your, it's nice and tight. And then I, I, I have my pointy finger on my right hand and it holds this stitch in place. So I'm not pulling it off my needle and you just insert like that and you pick your yarn up and bring it through that stitch i love this style of knitting honestly it's my favorite i've i've tried all of the styles and i find this is the easiest to learn because i've retrained myself um i was at russia and like an eastern knitter there's a western this is western and then there's an eastern style and i found for pattern design it was really difficult <laughs> because all of the patterns are written Western. So I retaught myself and this is the easiest way to learn how to knit. And it doesn't hurt your hands like some other techniques do, which is really nice. So we're just gonna get to the end of the row here and we're just picking that yarn up. And it might feel really weird at first, just practice, give yourself some um, grace and just practice. And literally you can just learn how to knit by practicing doing this. And I suggest like a scarf or even a dishcloth or something really easy to start out with. And you can just do the knit stitch. You don't even have to worry about purling at all, but I will show you how to purl um, in the next row here. So we're almost done. See how nice that is? Like it's just, it's relaxing. You're not throwing it. There's like not a lot of tension for your hands. And you're just pulling it through just like that. And I like it because I can hold it a certain way. Like I find that it's, it's really nice to hold my work this way. I'm, like I said, I'm a closed hand um, knitter and oops. I'm on the video, so I'm all nervous. <laughs> Splitting my yarn and everything. Okay, so we have officially knit our first row. Isn't that pretty? So you're gonna flip it, and your work goes over to your left hand. You have an empty needle in your right. And now we are going to purl. So this first stitch is super difficult, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so, and it is, uh, it's true for, you know, any any first stitch so what you want to do for the Norwegian purl is you're going to insert your your needle in front of the um so you're unlike um a regular knitting technique I guess 
Um, you don't have to bring the yarn to the front of the work when you're doing a Norwegian purl. That's why I love Norwegian purling. It's like a dance that you do. So you're going to have your yarn in the back just like this. You're going to make sure that your needle goes underneath here and through your stitch. And like I said, the first one, and you're going to twist it around. You're going to pick up that yarn. I'm going to bring it back and off the needle just like that okay the first one is always difficult like i said so we're gonna do that a few times okay so now that we've done that first stitch the awkward first stitch um you're gonna be holding the yarn in the back still you're gonna make sure that your needle goes um underneath it but not around it so just over top like that into the stitch you're gonna hold it and pinch it like that twist it around grab that yarn bring it back to the front of the work and through the stitch and let go and now you've completed that that stitch cool hey so again like that wrap it around it's like a dance once you get good at this it is like so much fun okay so i'm holding it like that so you can see where it goes I'm trying to go really slow for you. Okay. So again, hold it, wrap it around. It's like a dance when you get going. Okay, so do you see what's happening there? You bring it up through that stitch like that, and that's a completed purl. Neat, hey? So you never have to bring your yarn to the front of the work ever again. Isn't that awesome? I love purling this way. It's like a, when you get going on it, it's like a dance that your needles do and it feels just so cool. I love purling. When, um, before I didn't like purling as much, but now I'm like so in love with it because it, it's just, it's a lot of fun. Okay, so again, you're gonna hold your, your yarn over your finger like that. Make sure that you, you don't wanna go over top you want to go under not wrap it around through that stitch do your dance pick up that yarn bring it back to the front and through that stitch like that and then take that yarn and push it off okay feels weird to do it this slow but i'm going to make sure that i can show you the best way because this 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 stitch took me a while to like get it down because it's just it's weird right so again, bring it around and through. And once you get going, it's just, it's the funnest thing, I promise you. And it doesn't, you're not having to bring that yarn in the front anymore, like a regular purl stitch. Like I love purling now, after you get the hang of it. At first, like you might get so frustrated, but just hang tight keep practicing because once you get it you're gonna love it it's just gonna be the funnest thing ever and the more you do it the better you are at it and it, you can just you want to fly you can fly with it it's a lot of fun And I love that you have, you can just pick the yarn off of your finger. Like it's not way out there, like a regular continental knitting. I just, I could not, honestly, I could not get continental and I am, I can't get English either. I don't know what it is, but that's why I was a Russian knitter forever. But now that I am designing patterns, I find it really difficult to design. Oops, I got a little... I find it really difficult to design Western patterns while I'm an Eastern knitter. So that's why I retaught myself with the Norwegian knitting. And I'm so glad I did. I just really, really, really enjoy it now. So yeah, having focusing problems, I see that, but okay. So remember you go under that yarn, not wrap it around though. Do your little dance, bring it to the front. See like that and then pull it through that stitch 
and then off. It's like the coolest thing. I love this style of knitting. It's like my absolute favorite now. Again, so this is our last stitch, our last purl stitch. So we're holding our yarn like that. We're going underneath the yarn and through that stitch. We do our little dance, we bring it to the back, wrap it around, bring it to the front, and we're going to bring it through that stitch, just like that. And now we're done. Now we're done. Cool, hey? So then you would just go to the other side and start your knitting. So we're, we're doing a stockinette, and a stockinette stitch is knitting one row and then purling the next row. And then you get something that looks like this. This is called a stockinette, and that's how you get that. And if you wanted just the garter stitch, then you would just do knitting on um, both rows, and then you would get a garter stitch, a simple knit stitch, right? So yeah, that is it. That is how you would knit, and you just keep on continuing, altering rows, and then you get this beautiful stockinette for, and stockinette is so standard. You will find it in so many patterns. It's definitely something that you want to learn. And it's the base technique. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to bind off. And we're going to bind off on the right side, so the knit side. Um, you're going to knit your stitch like you would normally. And then you're going to take this back stitch and you're going to slip it over top of the front stitch. Just like that and you're going to continue this process until you have all of your stitches bound off okay so just continue just like that i'll go a little slower here so just a knit stitch like that and then take your back stitch and slip it over your front stitch and you just continue until you get to the very end of the row that is it. That concludes our Norwegian knitting tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to answer them. You can find me at, at ekshawknits.com and my email address is kim at ekshawknits.com.